Hi, Dr. Ron Capps, Nitchbrow. This is going to be a very short tutorial showing you how you can take a video from YouTube and by using Sherbet you can take the audio from that video and create an audio file that you can distribute uh, with your messages and also post to your website and your blog. So it's really very simple. Uh, here's one I just did with a testimonial from uh, the co-author of The Obvious Expert, Elsa Meldridge Jr., talking about why I'm the obvious expert when it comes to social media processes. But let's go take uh, another file. Uh, please understand this is a great way for you to take uh, video testimonials you might have and convert them into audio testimonials that you might want to use in other places. It's also a great place for you to go to take uh, presentations that uh, you have of other material and sh share them as an audio file or a converted audio file. Uh, you can do it with SlideShare presentations and other presentations uh, with an appropriate audio track. Um, by that I mean something with worthwhile content that you have permission to share. And if you're sharing the content of others, always be sure to include in the tags where the content is coming from, the author of the content, and always give proper attribution and, and let them know that you're sharing their information across different platforms. Okay, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go on in. I'm going to bring on over to the screen uh, my YouTube screen. Well, what we did right then is we wound up moving things back and forth. So let's do it again. There we go and we can see the video that I just converted the audio I want to do another one here now all you have to do is click on the link to bring the video up into the window and in this particular case I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, stop it right there I'm going to go in and I'm going to uh, take the video I'm going to take well, we're going to go ahead and uh, rather than do it that way with the related links because I don't like related videos. We're just going to come on back in. We're going to click on the raw link here where we get a clean ID or code. And there it is. We're going to go ahead. We're going to copy that on over and we're going to pause it so that we don't have the video talking in our ear. Okay, and now what we'll do is I'll send it back over to the other screen. I'll come up here. I'll take the link that I just copied off of YouTube. I will sub click Submit. And right now it is processing the file. It says it will, might take a few minutes, but I've generally found it to be a very quick process. In particular, if you're working with a short video, uh, that particular video clip I just transferred for it over here to convert to audio was just a shade over two minutes and as you can see it is already done. We go ahead and we click that and we now have in our Sherbet uh, home a new audio file that will be coming up and we should be able to see it the minute the page reloads here. There it is, Roosevelt Bud Simmons talks about the niche file, uh, 2 minute 33 second audio file. You can create a QR code for it. You can send it out through Twitter, Facebook, Google Buzz, or once again, there is your embed code. If you want to create a QR code for it, it's really very simple. You click on that button, there you have it. That is a QR code for that particular audio, and that is the link to the QR code. Okay, guys, it's a powerful tool. Learn how to use it and learn the flexibility it has for re direct recording, uploading of files, creating audio files out of YouTube videos, or as we've seen in another video, how to do text to Turbot. That should be a pretty comprehensive look at the way you can go in and you can use Turbot. In the meantime, uh, may you all have a happy time online enjoying the social media tools. Remember, these are free tools you can use. Now it's all up to you. Just get out there and as Nike says, do it. Dr. Ron Capson, Itch Prof, until the next tutorial. Take care.